Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I hope you have your coffees ready as we are about to continue this wonderful journey into becoming the best Graveyard Keeper around and the only one. So in the last episode we unlocked researching and we have to look for a way to get research points. We went ahead and spoke to the... Uh, what was he called? The, the astrologer or the astronomer? Where was he? Let's see. Mm, somewhere in here, the astrologer. We have to bring a skull to him during the next moon day. For the Inquisitor, we will need flyers. That will be away for a, quite a while. We can't really plant grapes yet. Then we have to meet Snake, which is in the dungeons. We are probably... No, we are going to work in this episode to get connected the church, connect the church to our house. What else should we be doing? Um, getting paper, probably not that far. Finding a stamp, this will take us a while. We can go and meet the merchant. And we need five honey pots for this guy. Let's see. Uh, does this guy... Do we have the honey? Yeah, we do have the honey necessary for him. Let's put in the chest. We have a few hemp seeds. Let's plant them out. And we have apples, edible mushrooms. I would put this in the chest for now. We'll keep the fruits. Yeah, let's go. I would like to make a few things inside the church if we are able to. But we'll start by planting. Oh, it takes us... It takes us... Four hemp seeds. Let's see. Do we need water? Because there's... There was a well somewhere here, right? Up here. Let's see. Let's see if it does require us to, to water the plants. We will be using this. Uh, no. Apparently they don't require water there. So that's fine. We have no exit through here. So let's go to the church first of all. And see what is required of us in order to to improve the church if we if we can build anything probably i would like to build a few more benches uh, no we don't have anything unlocked yet if we go to theology let's see church bench it does require so all of these require knowledge that we don't have right now hmm. okay well we planted the hemp. Let's see how we can unite the church first of all. Ooh, we have a body in here. So what? Are you a cleric now? It seems so. Hmm, I don't remember anything after my death. Maybe there's nothing there. Or maybe I just forgot everything. Amnesia can be a useful skill. You know what I mean, my friend? Well, yeah, yeah in a sense. Um... Oh, so we wanted to... In, I think I wanted to research the pyre, right? Let's see, where is that? So we need 5 knowledge and we need 20 green knowledge. What was this? Nature knowledge? Yeah, nature knowledge there to get the pyre to set that body on fire. Because um, I don't think I really want to bury it. It's going to provide us only with negative points. Yeah, now let's go through here, let's check out uh, somewhere like this connection, right? We needed 10 wooden edges, some wooden planks and some simple iron parts. Wooden plank over here, so we have the ed wood edges and we are able to make the wooden plank. Okay, well, let's see. 
there were 10, 10 wood edges, wood wedges, and two wooden planks. And that's what we're going for next. Can we make anything here? Only trunks, okay. I think we'll be able to put some barrels to make some wine in the future there. Okay, so tomorrow there, the merchant is coming by. Let's see... Two planks... Where do we make the wedges at? Okay, and let's see here... They make flitch wood billets. Here we can craft some of these. It, are these the X1, shovel one and pickaxe one? What do we have? Rusty axe, rusty pickaxe and the rusty shovel. Okay, well, let's craft some of these as well then. I didn't think about it until now, but I think it's a really good idea to do this. We'll probably wait until they break. Nice, but this will make us a whole lot more efficient. Can we, we can even research these ones, right? Yeah, so we'll, we'll not sell them just yet. Okay, well, what can we do next? We could go for the anvil, create complex iron parts, have iron chisel, which is used to co collect stone, I think. Mm, we will need the insects for the moths. And there's quite a few things that we can get. But there was one more that I didn't see anywhere. Right, we said that we can make wooden wedges. How do we create those? It's probably here in at the chopping spot. Uh, this is a chopping spot. Okay, so we have 10 wood wedges. Let's do that. The midnight, so as soon as we cut this out, we'll, we'll just go to bed. Get that extra energy. We will have just enough time in the morning to go and unlock one side under our house and then we'll go to the and meet the merchant, see what he wants to do, what's his goal and everything else. Ooh! Oh, this is not... is it, this not the merchant? Let's see, can we talk to Snake? Nice! Hold still. Who are you? I'm the graveyard keeper and a prior of this church. Mind your business. I have a dagger and I'll gladly use it. Try to convince him we need we need more faith. Try to threaten him. Yeah. Do we wanna threaten him? Uh, <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so we have two more exits here. Oh! So this one takes us to the village. And we do have the merchant here. Gre greetings, villager! If you have any spare sil uh, silver, I can offer you an amazing thing, tasty and rare. I humbly apologize, but I'm not buying any of your sh stuff. Unless something's invaluable. And I doubt you can find some thing like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everybody thinks I'm the local I'm the keeper at the local graveyard. But I'm from another world and I need to go back. I understand you all too well. This world is not mine either. Oh thank god. Mine is a world of grandeur, the places of the town, the palaces of the town. But I'm not so lucky to be highborn, so I have to earn my coins here in this onion potato hell. 
Let's see. Talk to him about the garden. Harari gave me permission to use the garden near the church. I need to discuss the terms of use with you. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was many years ago and due to inflation and the good soil, why now it's quite a valuable commodity. Let me see, how about 10, it, like these are what, 10 gold? I am guessing. Uh, that's too much. Okay, okay, what about 5 gold? Too much. I'm short of money, maybe we can dis discuss some kind of barter? I see, you're a poor man. Who wants to earn a little money by growing crops? We can discuss the terms of your rent, but first let's see how good a farmer you are. Let's make a deal, you can deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages and beets, then I'll see you as a serious business partner and we'll make a long term deal that's more, that's profitable for both parties, what do you say? Deal. As soon as I have my first harvest I'll bring it to you. 12 carrots, 12 cabbages and 12 beets for testing. One more thing, if you have the time I'd like to ask you for a small favor. Care him to cure his hiccups? Okay, how can I help you? My friend, I like delicious food but lately I have having stomach problems. After a good dinner I get the hiccups, it's driving me mad. A friend of mine from the wine club told me that hiccup grass can help. I believe there's plenty of it in the swamp. I'd be very grateful if you could bring me some. Sure, I'll look around for some. Let's see. Boo! Are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help you with your hiccups. That was the full thing to do. I just need a little time. That shark fin steak I ate this morning was so delicious, but I have to admit that the golden fried butterfly wings stole the show. It seems like you're okay now, after my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. Let's see, grape seeds, do we have, we have some money, silk, royal fish, gold jewelry, let's try to get some of these, though they're very expensive, yeah no we can't really afford it, okay well I'm guessing he's a potter, let's see where this one lives. I'm not gonna... The hatch is closed for now, okay? I almost want to... To fret and snake. But I think we'll just die. Oh, he left already. So now to clear a path here we need a wooden beam. And we need wooden wedges. Let's see, are these complex? No, these are simple iron parts. So we just need the wooden beam, which takes us, will take us a while to get to. Hmm. Okay, well, we've made a tiny bit of progress. We made the, met the merchant. At this point, I'm just thinking about maybe making another pallet. One of these. And we are going to be placing it here. Mostly because I want to move this body from one side to the other. Okay. Let's see, clearing out here, yeah, we do need a wooden beam as well. And for the pyre now... We will need... we will need that knowledge. I guess I'll just have to, to complete the astrologer's mission. Maybe he can help us with the knowledge. Do I want to make advanced iron forging? I think I would like, I, I saw here in the farm, yeah, the gardener. You aren't afraid of getting your hands dirty, you can select good seeds and harvest better crops. Good seeds is probably good to expand our garden without having to buy any of them. And I think that's about it for now. 
tract, brain, heart, intestines, or intestines, glass, advanced melting, quite a few things here that, I don't know, I don't, I don't know exactly what I should be doing next. Let's take a look at the missions. Here we can go to that to that guy. Let's see. We can grow through our house. We can even unlock this one, right? Two wooden planks, four simple parts. Let's do that. Let's clear this house. So we are going to go here. We are going to make first of all some simple iron parts. We should be making more of this iron here. Let's see, we have 15. For 15 iron ingots, we need 375 fuel. For 375 fuel, we need 50 firewood. Then we are going to go here. And we are going to go to firewood. Uh, make a one out of this sign. No, we'll leave it for research. We need more of these wooden billets. Okay. Now let's see, can we make 50 firewood? I think we can. Nice. Let's have ourselves some, some of these. And there we have delicious berries. We freed up a slot and we can work further on. Nice. Then we put all these here. Go to this place, go for 15 iron and smelt it all. Okay, how are we now? Did we make four simple iron parts? Yes, we did. Then I am going to go here. Oh, we need more wood billets. So let's do that. After the wooden billets, we will be making 10 wood edges. Wood wedges. And then we're going to make two more planks here. There are so many things to do in this game. You, it's it's quite confusing, I think, at first to to start this game out and decide what you want to do, because everybody has a mission for you. Fortunately for us, we're not really you know, forced to to do them in a certain amount of time. I think that's pretty good. I am not too sure. Don't take my word for it. In regards to that refugee camp. That's the new DLC. I am not that sure that things work. Okay, so that one, that sign, the brown sign is for the merchant. Apparently Snake is here every morning. Okay, we have another guy here. Let's see, what are you? What a fine place. Let's make a trade. My smithy for your house, the church and the graveyard. That's an incredible generous offer, Kresvold. But I'm afraid... Uh, he thought I was being serious. I'm not such a complete idiot that I'd want to live and work in this dump. Yuck. Mm, you're so polite. Almost like a farmer. Are you, are you brothers by any chance? Uh, I'll tell you a secret. I was the smith before his ancestors even moved here. Now you're coming with me. Am I under arrest? There's an emergency in the village, for Radrig is gathering all the villagers in his tavern. I'm not a villager. There are vampires in the village, Keeper, and we expect the first fatalities are just around the corner. Radic has requested a specialist in the dead. Now go! 
<laughs> what? We're late, remember it's all fault. Rose, thank you, we all feel your pain. We all know your sufferings. Boring. There was a, the third and final of the vampire's victims for today. But any of us could be next to meet him. Shane, the farmer's son, Rose, it's only just beginning. Villagers, I await your suggestions. Not all at once, please. Corey, your suggestions first. I suggest an, ah yes, of course, people, hear my words. One week only, Corey and brother will be available to fix your porch. For a 15% discount and as a free gift, you'll get a special wooden platypus from trees. Uh, no, that's my favorite toy. Business is business, brother. Um, okay, Adam, let's hear your suggestion. My suggestion is to assign two bodyguards to each villager. A week ago, a band of ghouls wrote some offensive slander on my wall. Adam, it was the village teenagers. I even helped them a bit with the grammar. Besides, ghoul don't exist. Oh dear, logger, your suggestion? My suggestion is for everyone to stop eating dead animals. It's only natural that you'd end up seeing vampires and what nonsense. Fresh roots and braised ribs, the secrets to a healthy body and spirit. What? To turn down candied chicken leg marinade? Never. Beekeeper, please don't spit on the floor. Is there something you'd like to add? Yes, there is. You people are crazy. You're all full of rubbish. It's all becoming clear. It's the vile doings of my sworn enemy, Hornetem. Hornet man? But fear not, my army of carnivore bees is nearly ready. Soon, very soon, I will release them upon the village. That would be most kind of you, beekeeper. Are there any other suggestions? Great! The meeting is adjourned. You are all free to go. We gained an achievement vampires in the village. Keeper, could you spare me a moment? Yeah, let's see what this is about. Listen, might I ask you to look into all that stuff? It's pretty unexpected, but I appreciate that you confide in me. Frankly speaking, I wouldn't exactly say that I confide in you, but if I asked some villager, I'd have to give them a huge tag right off in addition to their reward. So it only makes sense to ask someone outside the village, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. On the other hand, you're such a kind and understanding guy. Perhaps you'd agree to help us for free? I agree to help, for the fee. I'll think about it, we'll talk. I'm too busy to deal. Yeah, I am agree to help for the fee. <laughs> I'd hope for a little compassion in the time of our Mr. Fortune. But very well. What a greedy rascal. Very well, let's go home and think for a bit. Let's see, what's that? Find the vampire. Hey, um. You'd better talk to my husband, he's in charge here, yeah, we know. Let's see. We lost, we lost some energy there, or didn't we sleep for long enough? I'm not really sure. Okay, well, we can go through here, right? This passage home, best investment. Well, let's see. What do we want to do now? Oh no, we worked on uh, opening that passageway. Let's see, ooh, there's some guy here. It's time to pay for your crimes, you foul creature. Defend yourself. Shepherd? Are you talking to me? To you, you vile vampire, prepare to die in the name of my wife and all that's innocent. Hey, that's kind of funny. You really think I go around at night, at night sucking people's blood? How come I'm always out in the sun working? That proves nothing, you could be a vampire mutant. There's only one way to check. Oh, he threw garlic at us. Eat that. What? Raw garlic? Aha, he refuses, the fiend gives himself away. Oh crap. Ooh, what's this? Are you satisfied? Like my old teacher from the Order of the Undead Hunters used to say, more. Oh, I don't know what that means. I hate you. 
However, if you are a mutant, you might be resistant to garlic. Eureka, I know what I must do. Take this wooden stake and plunge it deep into your heart. If you die, stop. I have a better idea. I'll find you an actual vampire and then you can cut me in a break. Hmm, and if you fail, then you can kill me or I'll eat the whole bucket of garlic or whatever you need. It's a deal, but don't try to cheat me, you bearded horror. His logic is, is insurmountable. Insurmountable? Yeah. I guess it could make sense to talk to the victims. Chain, Farmer Son and Rose. Okay. Rosa, I think is the wife. Right? Oh. Yeah, we're taking damage from all that. Are we a vampire? Why are we losing? Because we're losing some life out. Okay. Oh, well, what do I want to do now? I was going for the fire, though we didn't. We need the knowledge. Okay. Well, I think I could go inside the town and deliver the honey. Let's do that. After we collect these. So we can go through here. And then we'll go inside the town. We'll speak to Rosa. We have the sword with us. I'm not gonna talk to Snake again. Let's see. Can we go inside here? No. It's closed. There are some berries down there. Can we talk to her? No, we cannot. You are Rosa, right? I can't. You better talk with my husband, okay? About the vampire. Jane, could you tell me a bit about that vampire? No, I couldn't. I won't say another word until Horatic apologizes for his disgusting behavior. Uh, okay, I'll ask him. Uh, about... Apologizing, let's see. Frederick, Chain asked you to say sorry for your... Me? Say I'm sorry? I found my wife's lover in my own bedroom and it's me who has to say he's sorry? Just picture it, he looks right at me and then jumped through the window. And now she's insisting that she was merely sleeping and this fellow was a common vampire. Maybe she could be right. Go to her and inform her that I demand an explanation. Ooh, this is what, going to be one of those quest where we go back and forth between these two as for an explanation Radic demands an explanation what an explanation go and ask him why he was returning home after the midnight that day listen I'm sorry about your family troubles but do you have anything useful to tell me I don't know anything I was asleep very well then have a good day Wait, the astrologer knows a thing or two about Amel? vampire. Amel? He says he was once attacked by vampires about 30 years ago. There we have it. We are going to the astrologer either way in two days. Our donkey is bringing us a body. So we'll have to go home as soon as we... Exchange this honey. I realized quite a bit of life there with the garlic. Okay. Ding dong, bing bang, bong, dig I am. Okay, let's here's your honey. Sweet dude, what about the cake recipe? Just remember, a cake can never be too sweet. Sweetness can help you see things from other points of view, so you can learn more. Okay, we got some cake, that's awesome. We can buy some hemp rope, some more hemp seeds from here. I'm going to take four more hemp seeds. Because I'm thinking about planting more, maybe have the chance to sell it. We're not really making money. I think it might be a pretty good idea to start selling some iron parts, because I remember them being pretty expensive all in all let's see let's check the potter quickly at 
trade. Okay, he's just selling ceramic bowls. Is there... We have to speak to the farmer's son. Which makes me think that maybe the farmer's son is around here somewhere. Can we get to that house? Not through here that I can see. Maybe we can go south. Like this is the way to the town and it's already it's blocked. We needed to upgrade to being a citizen or something like that. Okay, we'll come here, look for the farmer's son tomorrow because it's already late. And I'd like to have a chance to bury that body before, before this day is over with the energy we have left. So that's what we'll do. And we get the passive points. We have 80 red points, which is pretty good. Ooh, let's see, what's this guy all about? It looks like you're doing all right here. Yeah, I just opened the church. So now you own everything here. Yeah, I guess. Congratulations, you're a lucky man. You acquired all this capital, you work for yourself. You're a true capitalist now. But this world has no such reward for a hard-working donkey like me. Even you are benefiting from my cheap labor. I fear I cannot call you comrade any longer. But I won't just lie down and take it. Here's your little present just for you. And yeah, he left us some great... Oh, we gained some carrot seeds. That's awesome. Uh, let's see, what do we work with here? I'm starting to get the hang of this game. But for as weird as it is, I have to say this is pretty fun. Let's see, we can extract the blood. Now, if we extract anything else from here, these will de destroy the body, so will these. Does fat destroy the body? Let's try it out. Um, we made a surgeon mistake there. So it's probably okay to take the fat out. It's just that we made a mistake. We're gonna try again tomorrow to see. Okay, for the moment let's place a grave, we're gonna start placing them here. And we really need to make some wooden monuments. Just so we can improve the quality of our graveyard. Okay, can we leave anything here? Cause it seems like we, we have too many things on us. And we can't pick up anymore. Um, yeah, let's see these berries. Okay, what do we want to do next? Mm, well, it's late. I would like to sleep a bit. And then tomorrow we come and plant the rest. Let's see, can I leave anything at home? The water I can leave it inside the house. Story. Yeah, that should be good enough for now. Let's sleep. Let's gain, regain some of that health back. And apparently this is all the time we have for today. So I thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next episode. So have a wonderful day everyone.